What's up, what's up, YouTube? Yes, I'm joining this uh, vlog thing, this vlog movement, should I call it that? So, it seems kind of interesting that everyone's doing it and I like watching it. I usually watch it at night time or just when I wake up, when I've woken up in the morning just because it's the first thing next to me, like my phone and stuff, so uh, I've always done that. So, uh, today, today, I've just woken up and showered and whatnot um, and uh, I've got a bit of cold, like sore throat and stuff, so I've got a uh, Lemsip Max cold and flu. It's a lemon one. I'm not sure if they do this in other colour. Um, not colour, sorry, flavour or taste or whatever you want to call it. So it's worth me actually getting that up and running first thing in the morning because I've got a nice uh, busy schedule ahead of me today. Today I've got this um, Brefo camera, uh, adventure, cam adventure camera kit and um, that allows me to attach, say, like my GoPro onto the BMX uh, or my bike in general or whatever and uh, just fully test it out. I'm going to test this out today. So it's a kind of like a like my first vlog slash review of this because I actually want to put this to a, a real life test and put it on camera rather than one of those videos where uh, I just put it on and say here's what it looks like. Yeah, it definitely works. Blah blah blah. But no one believes you because you don't, you don't you haven't actually shown you putting it to real test. If you know what I mean. So uh, I'm going to be trying it out today. Uh, I need to first thing I need to do, which is going to be a bit of a struggle. Um, <clears throat> I've got my BMX over there, I don't know if you guys can see, just sitting there in the zone. Yeah, I need to get that in my two-seater car to Alfred's to get the tyres, tyre pressures to kind of pump up and check and the rest of it. Because um, he hasn't been used for a while because we haven't really had any sunshine. I had a skateboard as well, we haven't really had any sunshine and whatnot. And when the period that we did have a bit of sunshine in the UK, I went on holiday and I was away. So I was a bit gutted when I come back and it was all rain and uh, cold again and that kind of stuff so but yeah I'm gonna try and fit that in my two-seater car I'm gonna put the roof down and put it in the passenger seat everyone's gonna look at me like I'm mad and uh, what do you guys think of my, of my hats there's Gadgets Boy there if you turn it around it's got a GB for Gadgets Boy as well yes I actually managed um, I managed to get the uh, bike in my car I'll show you guys in a sec uh, obviously I couldn't hold the camera at the same time but Guys, sort of sitting in there. So I've put the roof down, and I've got to sit next to these. Uh, Thank God, it's the place where I'm going for this. Isn't that, it's only down the road, it's not far, so I only have to drive uh, about three miles on the road. And I'm good to go. Let's go, let's do it. I think I chose the uh, perfect day for this, actually. It looks really nice out there. Um, sun's out, it's not that cold. Uh, it's actually a nice weather today. Um, you can see, I managed to fit the bike in the two seat of your car right next to me so uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm gonna get this down to Alfred's now they're gonna have a look at the tires make sure they're all right uh, don't want to injure myself in the process and then um, get straight down to my parents by my parents there's a little skate park there so it's got like a nice setting really to sort of test out the adventure camera kit so we'll give that a nice try so yes Okay, so I'm hoping the audio is alright for this and um, I think the first thing to do first is kind of like uh, unbox this bad boy so sort of uh, get the actual uh, product out of the packaging and get that tied onto the framework of the uh, BMX there because uh, uh, that's where he's going to sit and then what I've done is uh, rather than just go up and down the ramp uh, over there at the park ramps is uh, I found this little like bumpy road, I don't know if you guys can see ahead of me, it's really bumpy so 
I'm gonna attach it and then sort of uh, record it going over it just so that you can see um, what this is like going over the bumpy sort of roads and stuff. So see how well uh, it sort of holds on to the uh, product itself. Uh, so here's what you get in the package. You get this uh, sort of eight-legged spider looking thing here and uh, it's all made out of rubber. Uh, well, not, not completely. Inside of you, you've probably got some sort of bendy uh, material in there, but on the outer side of the coating there that you can see, it's all enclosed in this rubber gripping uh, product here so that when you've got it on the frame, it actually adds, a, ex, it adds that extra grip uh, onto the frame from the Brefo uh, uh, Adventure uh, kit there. So you've also got this uh, sort of camera thread there that goes into the normal standard uh, tripod jack tripod port on every camera that you'd get on the market today uh, most of them do have this so so here's what it looks like mounted with this uh, handy camera that I've got here so that's attached uh, fully attached to there so it's gripping so it almost feels like something is holding on to the to the frame there as you can see you can see that there's barely any movement enough movement to allow uh, fluid sort of recording when you're recording so uh, so what we do is just put this to its pace now put it, put it to test so we're gonna I'm gonna go up and down these bumps here and then depending on how I feel I might just actually end up on the uh, ramp over there and just sort of try it out as well uh, so here we go let's go for it So, final thoughts um, on the Breath of Adventure kit. Uh, it's been fun using it. Um, I've got to say that you have to kind of uh, get used to uh, having it there with no proper secure tight fitting regular stuff that you'd have. And uh, if you're going to use it, you have to make sure that you tighten it properly so it's fully tight. Uh, you can't just have it loose otherwise your recording will go everywhere uh, as well as uh, your camera will probably end up on the floor. Uh, actually, the camera wouldn't end up on the floor because it actually holds it on no matter what. Uh, the problem that I had is uh, holding it into place most of the time so in terms of the recording would be all over the place which uh, you guys will probably see from the uh, result there um, also uh, I think I wouldn't use it with uh, an expensive uh, camera in terms of like uh, uh, something that's quite heavy like a DSLR size kind of thing it's not made for that I don't think uh, it's made more for like your light uh, action cameras like your GoPro like I used or that handy camera which is quite light uh, not for the likes of like um, DSLR or anything that feels quite heavy in and to hold anyway so do not use it with that but apart from that overall experience is great it's a good uh, material to have uh, sorry great gadget to have uh, I definitely recommend it uh, if you just want something that you're going to use every now and then on the go uh, you can hook it up onto anything it's not just for bike rides and stuff anyway so uh, it's definitely one to be like one to be reckoned with it's definitely useful so you can even use it in a car if you like and record your your trip in the car with a with a camera so but that's it guys uh, let me know what you think of this video anyway first type of this video that i've done uh so do give it a thumbs up if you want to see some uh, more like this uh make sure you subscribe as well so you can sort of keep track of more videos that i do like this so and uh yeah thanks for watching see you all next one peace